Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or to my channel if you're new. Today's video will be the final destination tag video. I have watched every single one of these movies, and I love every single one of these movies. I know that this tag video is late posting. I believe I seen my last, I watched the last one almost a month ago now, but um, good news for me is that I managed to get a job. So anyway, uh, back to the tag. Yeah, I am a huge fan of Final Destination. I love every single one of the movies. I don't find any issues with the movies because it's just like a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, I want to own the full fan franchise. I have two. I did have three, but when I opened the case, it was a different movie in there because I bought it from somebody else. Anyway, um, I had to write everything down as per usual. If not, I'd ramble on and I did manage, I actually rewatched all these movies in the course of the month just so I could get like, you know, a refresher before I did the tag video. Um, there is 390 deaths in total as far as I'm aware and there is a video linked in the description below showing each of the kills so you can check that out as well. Um, this is a huge amount of deaths and it's great because I mean considering death is what I look for in horror movies of or thrillers or any kind of genre I like death which makes me weird but anyway even though some of the deaths are cheesy a high kill count is what you remember the most and this one certainly does have a lot of uh, memorable kills so let's just get right into it the first question is, what is your favorite Final Destination film? This is a very hard decision because, like I said, I love all the movies. I like the cast, I like the kills, and even the Dumbos. You know, like uh, the two chicks who die tanning in Final Destination 3. Um, but my favorite one would have to be Final Destination 2. The huge, huge accident scene in the beginning with the wood and the trucks and, like, cars everywhere and holy crap that is something that really had an impact on my life actually to the point where like even now I'm still weary when I'm driving on the highway and there actually I had a bus driver who was a really great guy he used to give all the kids treats he had valentines and pumpkins he even grew pumpkins to give us treats and pumpkins but uh, sadly he was in an accident actually a while ago a long time ago now and uh, one of those rails on the side of a, a wood truck, I believe it was a wood truck, the iron bars actually went through his windshield and did kill him. So that was really, that was quite tragic actually. That's one of the most tragic things that's happened around here. One of the, because there has been a few. So Final Destination 2 is definitely like, the movie that stand out to me the most. And it's, I think it's mostly because of that scene, like the beginning, the, like how it happened, I was like, holy shit can you imagine driving and this happening to you so now I'm on the highway and I'm like please don't let it be a wood truck please don't let this happen because they do flip I have seen wood piles on the road because you know there's accidents and it's windy and all this other crap and it's such a tragic way to, to die and it's something I'll never forget and because of this movie it just makes it a whole lot harder to uh to think of experiencing. Anyway, I don't even know if that makes any sense. You know, it was really early here. Um, so aside from like real life's occurring, I thought the movie had a deep penetration of fear forced inside my body. Great movie and great kills. So the second question is, what are your top favorite kills, top three favorite kills of the series. You know, to name three out of like 390 is so difficult. Um, I like the majority, but three, I think, well, some honorable mentions would be um, when Missy's doing the gymnastics and she's like snaps in two. Oh, that hurt me. Uh, when Buddy's in the pool and like his ass gets sucked through. <laughs> through the bottom of the pool. That was good. All the bus kills, good. Um, let me see, getting the laser eye. 
uh, the trains. Just, just a load of kills I like. Uh, top three, I'd have to throw in the roller coaster accident. I like when they all started to fall out and just land on things. That was that was interesting. Um, that was in Final Destination 3. Totally spooked me from roller coasters too, actually. Number two would be uh, in Final Destination 4 with the racetrack scene and the tire comes and just like smokes Missy's face. Like her head just like gone. <laughs> I like that one. And in probably in the bridge scene I'd say when buddy from, he's like the main guy I can't remember his name now and when all the rails are starting to impale somebody and he turns and the sheet of metal slices him slices him right on like an angle he's like I like that one that one stood out to me a lot <sighs> so hard to pick like why would you ask to pick three should have picked one from each movie that would have been a little bit more easier to do maybe I'll do that in another video that's probably what I'll do like Jesus anyway number three is who are your favorite survivor couple in the series um, I'll definitely have to say that the first survivors are definitely the favorite obviously I mean they're in the beginning they're the two that stand out the most when I think of the movies Kimberly and Thomas right um, I like how they cheat death to the point where even in the next movie they tell us what happened and show us like that newspaper and a few things. I like that. That was nice. Oh, and I like how they finally did meet their final destination. Uh, question number four is, if death had you caught in its design, would you try to escape it or just give in? Obviously, I try to escape it because who really wants to die? Not me. I do not want to die. And if I do die, I hope it's peacefully in my sleep and none of this uh, crazy gory crap i like it but like mm, don't happen to me please don't happen to me i try to escape it i'd push somebody in front of a bus no would i well it kind of depends on my mood i guess depend on that person maybe i don't know this is pretty serious you're gambling right you're gambling with your life um number five is what is your favorite beginning catastrophe from the series oh this is hard I love every beginning catastrophe because obviously without the beginning catastrophe you wouldn't be able to I don't know the movie just wouldn't go you wouldn't have like these set people who cheat to death and follow them and see how they actually die obviously the main accident is important uh, one of the ones I think that really stand out I'm not gonna include the bridge scene because that's my favorite movie I'm or not bridge the uh, the wood truck and the highway accident probably have to say no you know what that is that is my favorite catastrophe because it's so realistic to a point um that's just a catastrophe I, I don't know I, I, I don't know it just really really has an impact on me that whole wood the trucks going everywhere the junk of wood flying through the windshield and when she goes and stops and piece just misses her head and her airbag comes out. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Like, did this have to happen? I really, I really like that. Uh, number six is, what is your least favorite Final Destination film? <laughs> I don't have a least favorite. I can rank them in order. Like, I usually watch them in order anyway, but if I had to pick one to watch in the day, I would probably pick, obviously, Final Destination 2. Um, then I'd go three and I'd probably go five, four, sadly number one. I enjoy all the movies, but I think number one, um, I know it's like the original start off, like this is where the whole thing came from, it's number one obviously, but I think like the, the kills became more creative and catastrophic throughout like the whole series and although I love number one, I think that's my least favorite that would be like rank down it's pretty sad isn't it considering my favorite power couple survivor couple to come from that movie <laughs> uh and like i don't hate any movies so mm, that was difficult 
Number seven is, what do you like and dislike about the series? I really like how there are so many ways to die. Of course, some are like too extreme and for anyone with paranoia issues, these things will stick into your brain and will probably scare you to death. I know people who overthink things and if you're watching some of these movies and you're overthinking, yeah, you'll scare yourself enough to the point where you're going to have to either check yourself in to the mental institution or you've got to get help, man, or you're that's it. You're done. You're done for. Um, I like how some of these things do happen in real life. Obviously, that's what makes it spooky. Of course, maybe not all of these to the extreme, but when you look at, um, when you see people having like tan accidents, you really want to recheck your surroundings because you never know what can happen. I didn't like how Final Destination, like the Final Destination, was supposed to be the Final Destination. And then they had another one, but I did like, obviously, the other one. I also wasn't a fan of some of the music. The music could have been a little bit better in some of the movies, but otherwise it had a very grunge feel vibe for me at the most point, if that's the right word. Um, but I said I can't, I can't really shit on the series because it is a guilty pleasure of mine. And to for a series to have over two hundred, over three hundred deaths on screen, is pretty damn awesome. And some of them are pretty realistic looking. CGI effects or whatever could have been a little bit better. But you look at how much they progressed over time, and obviously it gets better as technology has got better. Um. And I loved comedy. There's comedy, like when the bus hits people. I love when people get hit by buses. I find it so funny. That's awful. Number eight is, do you like how the series ended? They could make 20 of these movies and I'd sit and watch 20 of them. Um, you know that show, there's, uh, what is it, A Thousand Ways to Die? I mean, we only have 390 Ways to Die shown in here. I don't even think I've seen the majority of those in A Thousand Ways to Die. So. There are so many more options that you could throw into a movie. Obviously, people are like, my God, Jessica, you don't think five movies is enough? No, I don't. I don't think five movies is enough. I think there should be more. Um, and, like, they do have better uh, CGI effects if you needed them and different ways that you can help execute your uh, death scene, so... Maybe they could do it. And the last one came out in 2011, because so I'm pretty sure I watched that like that year I graduated. So yeah, I think another one should come out. Maybe like next year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could be in it mm -hmm. and die. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> can you imagine like the death of a vape? Vape exploded and killed you. Because I mean, they have exploded and burned people. Okay, moving on to the last question is number nine. If you had to take, if you had to make a part six, what would you do with it? Oh, that, you'd have to think a lot because like I said, there's so many blah, blah, kills. I was going to say quills. Porcupine. I think the major thing to keep in mind is that huge catastrophe in the beginning because you need that. That is where you make it or break it. If you don't like that beginning thing, you're going to lose. The people aren't going to be interested, right? Um, I think something along the lines of like the water and the ocean would be a great start for a sixth installment. Um, like a cruise ship or a yak. A yak. <laughs> a yacht. <laughs> it's early. Yeah, I think a cruise ship would be cool because there are a lot of movies where, I mean, like the Titanic had a few good death scenes. Um, what's that movie? Is it Pyramid? No. I don't even remember. Anyway, there are a few. Uh, like Ghost Ship. Um, there's a nice few ways that you can choreograph death along the lines of a cruise ship. You could have a cook who slips on his grease and causes this thing. The, kitchen to burn and then all those the smoke does something with the wiring and I don't know you know you have to really pinpoint and think of ways for them to die also if they do a sixth one they gotta top all the deaths from five you have five you have 390 people who died so you really have to put your foot down and like step up and be like you know what this has to be 
epic. It has to have, have more kills than all the previous movies. And um, has to be better. So a cruise ship will work because you have loads of people on a cruise ship. So that's a good way to knock off quite a few people. Um, obviously bring them back to going on shore. Maybe go like... Maybe it doesn't happen like that next day. Maybe it's like a month or so later and all these people who survived are now really good friends as per usual. And maybe they all go, I don't know, like to a vacation spot or, or they could be like shipwrecked and then that's when everything happens on like an, like an island. So like that would involve water and like island, tropical islands and like animals and weird cannibal people who run through the woods and yeah, that would work. No, that would be kind of unrealistic if you think about it. Cruise ship, yes. Being trapped on an island where, there, where there's people chasing you and trying to kill you, not so much. I think the cruise ship would work, bring them back to land and let's see, let's take it from there and how, how they'd work out. Anyway, that was a lot of rambling. I'm at 15 minute mark. If you made it this far, congratulations. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will leave everything in the comment section or in the description below. The questions and like I said, that link to the other video. Uh, you can subscribe if you're new. Give this video a like if you liked it. And until next time, creep it real and thanks for watching.